What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at Movo's Double Condenser Microphone. Now I did do a review on Movo's Single Shotgun Mic uh, not too long ago, and I really liked that microphone, and I actually still use it for my studio setup today. So I'm really excited to check out this double mic. So you can pick this up on Amazon right now, and I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. Now this dual condenser microphone captures audio from the front and the rear of the device, meaning you'll never have to choose whose voice is heard. It also uses a super cardioid polar pattern. It picks up crisp precision audio while eliminating background noise, and it's perfect for outdoor shooting. You can also use this with smartphones, tablets, DSLRs, cameras, camcorders, PCs, and pretty much anything that uses a three and a half inch audio jack. You can also toggle between camera and smartphone modes at any time as well from the fr for the front, rear, and dual pickup modes with the dual mics easily accessible onboard switches. You can also hook up a pair of headphones for mic monitoring, but this only works on playback through smartphones and not DSLRs. So let's go ahead and go over some of the specs real quick. Again, this is a condenser mic. It uses a super cardioid polar pattern. The frequency response is 45 hertz to 18 hertz. The sensitivity for the front microphone is negative 32 to plus minus three decibels, and the rear mic is negative 44 plus minus three decibels. The signal to noise ratio is 80 decibels, and the weight is 2.4 ounces. So let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here it looks like we have our little shock mount that is mounted with a cold shoe. Here we have our microphone with the attached cable. There, as you can see, is a little input for headphones so you can do mic monitoring. Here you have your switches here for cameras, smartphones, and you can also select between the front, front, rear, and rear microphones. It is made of all metal. Feels like a pretty well constructed microphone. Then you have your screens on the front and the back there. Here we have our manual. And then here we have a nice little hard case to keep everything in for when you're using it on the go. Inside here it looks like we have our dead cat windscreens in case you're recording on the outside. And then we also have two foam windscreens as well. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and set this up and see how it sounds. Okay guys, so here's the test I know you've been waiting for. First off, we're gonna go ahead and test this and see how well it performs with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you can see, it is recording my voice right now and it is super close uh, to my mouth. So this is gonna be the most optimal setting that you can uh, record with. Anything further away will start to pick up more ambient noises and I will be doing that test in just a moment. I'm gonna kinda put it off camera like I normally do and just have it picking up my voice uh, talking normally right as I am now. I'm also going to be testing it uh, connected to my Sony a6400 camera and we'll see if there's any difference uh, between the recording. This is also using just the front mic. We will also be testing the rear mic to see how well that performs as well. So all this that I've been talking uh, through right now has been recorded directly from this mic here again on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, so here I've moved the microphone off camera so you can't see it anymore, but it is still connected to my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this will give you some idea of how good the microphone will pick up my voice from probably maybe a foot to two feet away. Okay, so I've turned the microphone around. Now we're solely using the rear microphone. It's still connected to my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this is what the audio quality would sound like if you were this close to the microphone just using the rear mic. And then here again I've moved the microphone off camera and we're still using the rear microphone and it is still connected to my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is the audio quality you can expect connected to a phone with the mic probably maybe a foot and a half away from your mouth. Okay so I had to kind of do this as kind of like a little vlog um, because I can't get to the, I can't get close enough to the microphone because the mic has a really short cord and it only works 
with that short cord with my Sony a6400 so I kind of had to just pick it up and do like a little vlog style to give you an idea and I'm sure a lot of you buying this microphone will most likely do like a little uh, vlog with it because it does have a front and a rear mic so this is pretty much what you can expect from the microphone using the rear mic as a vlog okay so the microphone is still connected up to my sony 6400 we're still doing like the little vlog style and we are using the front microphone now versus the rear that we were using so this is the quality that you can pretty much expect from using it with your camera and using the front microphone okay so right now it's just me again and i've switched it to the front and the rear microphone so this is what it sounds like when both the mics are turned on using a sony a6400 camera okay so again we're outside this time i only have the front microphone turned on i do have the dead cat filter on the front mic and there is still a slight breeze so hopefully those dead cat filters are doing what they're supposed to be doing but again this would give you some idea if you just wanted to do some outdoor vlogging or something like that just using the front microphone okay so now we're only using the rear microphone i did have to turn my camera around and i'm using the selfie camera to record so i'm standing just a tad bit further away than i would with the rear camera but again we're still outside there is a little bit of a, a breeze outside and i do have that dead cat filter on the rear camera so i'm sorry on the rear microphone and this will give you some idea of what it sounds like just simply using the rear mic Okay, here's a little test I just wanted to do for comparison. Again, we are outside. There is a pretty good breeze going on right now. I do have both the front and rear microphone turned on, both at the same time. So this will give you some idea of what the quality would be like if you were doing uh, maybe like an outside interview. I also have a dead cat filters on both of the microphones, so it should filter out the breeze pretty well. So what are my thoughts on the Movo double mic? I definitely think that it is a really good microphone, especially if you're gonna be using it for vlogs and interviews and things like that. You can also just use it for uh, things like I am here for just creating videos. The front microphone definitely sounds really good as you could hear uh, from some of the videos. Now the one thing you have to keep in mind is the audio is going to be different on each device you put this on. I think in the from when I was doing my testings, the best audio was coming when it was directly connected up to my Sony a6400. Whereas when I was using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or my iPhone, you have to use these little uh, USB-C and Lightning dongles to connect it to your phone and that can cause some static. Uh, there can also be some hiss. One of the videos that I was using, I had a little bit of hiss from it, but I believe it was from the uh, air conditioner unit that I had going on because you didn't hear it in some of the other samples that I had going for you. So if you're going to be using it with devices that I had in this video, for instance, you can pretty much expect the same audio quality, but not every device is going to record the same. So this video will give you some idea of what the audio quality can be, and I think it's actually quite good. And I tried to give you the best variety that I could and some different scenarios that you might utilize the mic in. Build quality is also really good. Like I said, it doesn't feel cheap. It's made of all aluminum and it's really solid. I absolutely love this new microphone and I think it has a really good sound. And I probably will be replacing the Movo shotgun mic that I have with this particular one. If you wanna see that microphone, I have it right here. And this is the one that I use for a backup recording just in case my other mic decides to not record or I just happen to forget to hit the record button. This is always recording off of my Sony a6400. So I will be putting a link in the description for this microphone. And if you're interested in this little setup that I have here, it's also made by Movo, and I will be putting a link in the description for that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.